Welcome. In this section, we will discuss the power clip. Just like the name is, the power clip will put any object inside a frame. It's usually used to make layouts. You don't want anything to miss. This is a magazine that we designed. We want the look of the magazine to be like this. Text will come in here. Banner comes in here. Picture comes in here. Picture comes in here. Picture comes in. We prearrange this page. All we need is to put content. So what we do is to select the image we want to put. This is our banner. We want to put it in here. So we we'll select the image. We we'll go to the power clip. Then we will now ask it to place it inside a frame. When we click, it will ask us which frame. The arrow is here. This is the frame we want. That is done. As you're stretching the frame, the image in it stretches. You can further adjust the image in it. If you go back to the power clip now, you see that it has options page power clip the options now are showing the first said we can extract this image we can edit it edit it will just place it the way it is so we can move it around the way we want it to fit in we can center this image in the container we can fit it proportionally at times you have a smaller image that does not feel we can stretch it to fill the container so this is filled proportionally to the center proportionally top okay but all these things did not uh, we don't have the need for all this in this particular image because it fitted well okay so we want to fit this image in this container we go straight we already know the steps we we'll just say fit to container we select the container you see how easy it is we click here fits to the container we select the container the container can be anything it can be hand drawn it can be any shape at all once it's a you can use any shape as a frame so we put these baskets in here the basket of flower we go to object again place we select the frame do we have something to put here okay let's put this there we go to if uh, object we select we place it here okay we are done you can put more than two images inside one frame so let's do that we select this image we are going to put it in this frame also so we say click um, object um, power clip place inside the container we want to use the same container you see how it fitted in once it fit in, in like this we can't edit it so this calls for us to say we want to edit the container that's where edit power clip comes in edit power clip so this is the aspect of the this our container this aspect of the video we are saying we can adjust it so that the sun will go higher this is our text we can place it here we can still adjust, we can format the text, we can give it different color, we can do all this. This is our image, this is our text, we can do anything we want with it. Okay. So we finish editing, we click finish. That's how wonderful it is. Then here again, you find out that the lady's face did not show the man's face is also cutting somehow so we go to edit we go to power clip we say we want to edit it this is our frame so we can adjust the image to fit in this image may be too big you see you have all the flexibility we can make it smaller bring it down to fit in very well that's it that's it that's it so we say we'll finish editing and that is what we have so you have all these tools to work with in here we want it to be text and we want text to be in this box 
that one will go to the text tool and make it a frame paragraph we said create empty frame we don't have the text yet so it is an empty frame anytime we are ready to type or copy and paste we can just type inside it so this is how to lay your page again look at the image here if it's a good tool to make images like this just make circles for your container get the picture and put in there another interesting thing about this tool is that you can fit big thing inside a small container let's try it we want to use this as the background of this text the mountain of fire so we will use this as a container for this big image it will take it so we click the image go to object it will ask us about the container we say this is our container it sounds funny but it will do it so that's the container so we can go to edit to place that fire on on the mountain where we'll see the fire very well so we click edit so we can move this so you see the text is picking the fire very well now okay so we click finish that's it so these are the things you can use power clip to do just remember that anything you type any any container you create anything you draw can be your container we can manually draw our container and fit things inside it but the container has to be closed it has to be closed object so if i'm using this we have to close it let's select the object close it you have to close it to test if it's closed you can use color on it okay okay so we say close now we are sure that it is closed we are going to use empty field lastly you can create your container before the image we want to make this a container we will go to the power clip and say we want to create an empty container so we put we've made the empty container we just drag any object into the empty we drag the object into the empty container and drop that's it it's inside the container so this is how to use power clip see you in the next section hello join us in mastering coral draw graphic suits with our comprehensive course this lesson is just one of the 80 in-depth tutorials designed to equip you with all the skills you need whether you are a beginner or seeking to enhance your proficiency our course covers everything you need to know about coral draw and coral photo paints subscribe to our channel to unlock more insightful lessons like this one or take the next step by enrolling in the full course using the link below don't miss out on the opportunity to assess all 80 lessons and elevate your design expertise with coral draw graphics suits see you in the class my name is Ejofor Umano. I'm one of your instructors in this course.